Hi guys, welcome to Who's Junction. What did we witness today? The United States, they overcame a 10 point deficit. They defeated Argentina 108 to 75. I mean, pardon me, 105 to 78. But here's the thing I don't understand. How did Argentina jump out on them that badly? Everything that they did was on point. Their offense was on point. Their defense was on point. The um, Fasundu Campazo was cooking Kyrie Irving. He came out shooting 4 for 5. He crossed Irving. A lot of people don't even want to uh, say that. He crossed him up really bad. And it was crazy. It was crazy. Um, the, they were down 10. Argentina went on like an 8-0 run to start the game or 8-2 run. I mean, until they, Team USA substituted in Paul George, they were like dead in the water. Kevin Durant was the only other player that was hitting consistently. And you got to give Kevin that. Even though he does he's, he uh, has turnovers, he is like consistent offense. If you can't give him the ball twice, like any offensive rebounds, the ones that Paul George was getting, Man, they kept US, USA in the game because he, if he doesn't hit a couple of those shots, I mean, we're talking about a tight game throughout. And Paul George, man, him and KD, but more so, I'll say Paul George, he has to get a game ball. His defensive intensity was great because Carmelo Anthony was a defensive liability out there. And I'm going to say this about Carmelo Anthony. I love his game. I, I, love, I love him as a player. I think as a person, he's probably, like, very genuine. But in terms of defense, he has none. He's anemic. And they have to take him out of the starting lineup. If they're going to play teams with like as much firepower as them, Team USA has to come out with a more defensive-minded lineup. That means they either got to take Carmelo out the lineup and put Draymond Green, or they have to um, just come out small, play Draymond Green at the 5, Melo at the 4. Because, I mean, did you, did you not see... Every single play that Argentina made, I would say 80% of them were defensive assignments that Carmelo Anthony should have switched out on. He should have um, went over a screen. They were just plays that he was just nowhere to be found where he was supposed to be. And that's unacceptable. Same thing with Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving had multiple defensive lapses, and it just... Makes me believe that if Stephen Curry was 100% healthy, whatever Composo was doing to Curry, to Kyrie Irving today would, would be nothing. It, we would have been talking about what Curry, because everybody was talking about how Kyrie Irving, he definitely put his foot on um, Stephen Curry's neck, which he should have, because Curry was not 100%. But if, if he was 100%, if Curry was 100%, it would have been a different story. Because the way that Composo came out, the uh, diamond shooting, Floaters, defense, it was ridiculous. I think that the United States has to be very careful. They have to be very careful because they just can't defend well with the lineup that they're starting on the court. And Coach K has to make a decision. He has to take a couple guys out. He has to put in more two-way players. Because besides, I'll say Clay Thompson and let's say Kyrie Irving. All the way down to the center position, Melo's not a two-way player. Durant is a two-way player, but sometimes, and your center is not a two-way player. So they just need to get more playmakers involved earlier. Jimmy Butler has to get more minutes. Draymond Green has to get more minutes. Paul George has to get more minutes. Because right now, this is unacceptable. I don't care that they won the game by, they routed them. I don't care about none of that. Because... That's just smoke and mirrors because that's towards the end of the game. Let's talk about how they started the game. You see what I'm saying? Because let's just say they start out the game really bad against Spain uh, this upcoming round. And you're down 10 or 15. Spain might have enough to hold court and keep that lead throughout. See what I'm saying? Any team, because this is an elimination round. So any team can like knock the U.S. off and they can't afford to have these bad starts and part of the bad starts is bad defense and then bad defense leads to easy scoring opportunities for the other team 
and it, it causes them to press because you, you even saw this. Like Melo shot a whole bunch of threes. He was like one for six in the opening in the opening half. In the opening quarter. One for six. That's not like Melo. See what I'm saying? And Kyrie Irving was missing a whole bunch of threes. They Coach K has to make an adjustment. And that means he has to start two way players. He can't just have Melo out there on an island. Because they're taking advantage of them. Same thing with like a DeMarcus Cousins or DeAndre Jordan. They can't really defend the pick and roll really well. They don't make great decisions on the pick and roll for their defense. So, I mean, they're a liability. And teams are going to pick on you. They're going to run that pick and roll over and over and over and over and over. Because they're not, they may not have the same athleticism or the same talent. But they had the same strategy. And at the end of the day, a great strategy can overcome a lot. See what I'm saying? So... It was it was they, the team USA won. We can't belittle that. We can't um, negate that. But it just wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty at all. I was watching that opening half. I could not believe what I saw. It was like, whoa! My friend texted me and he said, you know, Team USA is getting doozed on. And I was just like, well, you got to be kidding me. So when I look at the score, it was forty to twenty. So I was like, oh, they're up. But then when I Come back and watch the game and see what went, really went on. That's unacceptable. That's unacceptable, man. And I don't know what it's going to take, but these guys have to come out with more intensity. Argentina came out like, we got this game. Let's let's hurry up and win this game in the first quarter so we can be, be done with the rest of the game. So we can just cruise. And if another team jumps on Team USA like that, watch out. Because we're going to be talking about another video about a silver or bronze medal, ladies and gentlemen. This is Vladimir from Hoops Junction with Hoops Meets Hoopla. Peace.